Hello and welcome back to the channel. What we're going to talk about today is that if you live here in Thailand as an expat, there are some services that you're going to really rely on. Now, not all of these on our list do you necessarily have to use, but there's a lot of things on this list that you will find that you will use and you will rely on them. The first one is a visa agent. No, you don't need to have a visa agent to come here to Thailand. However, they can make your life a lot easier. I would suggest utilizing a Thai visa service for your first time moving here to get everything set up properly. I am going to give you a link down in the description to a place called Assist Thai Visa. They can answer your questions for you free of charge just off of Facebook Messenger and that's what we did when we first came here three and a half years ago. We've referred hundreds of people to them and everyone's been very happy with the service that they got, especially for free. So I'm going to have that link down below, but no matter where you're moving in Thailand, get a hold of them, ask them, tell them your age, what kind of visas do you qualify for, how much money, let's say you want to work with, because some visas do require some money to be deposited and insurance, things like that, but they will be able to assist you in figuring out what exactly you need to do. And then when you do move here, if you do decide to use a visa service, it can make your life way easier as far as dealing with immigration. Another thing you're going to rely on here if you're going to do this wisely is a language program. Now, I'm not saying you need to learn Thai fluently, but it would behoove you to find a Thai instructor to learn some of the things that you're going to say all the time. Where's the bathroom? The food is delicious. Can I have a menu? I'm waiting for such and such, whatever it may be. Figure out what phrases that you use the most and try to find an instructor to just teach you the sentences that you know that you say on a regular basis whenever you're dealing with other people. And you'll find out real quick that there are certain things that you talk to or that you talk about whenever you're in public, such as where is this, where is that, uh, my food, I want it less spicy, more spicy, whatever it may be, counting, things like that. But something you may want to rely on is a language instructor. Next one on the list is a health insurance provider. Now, you may have health insurance from your home country, but it's a lot cheaper if you had insurance coverage covering you here in Thailand. And then when you go visit your home country, you can get traveler's insurance and pick exactly what kind of coverage you want for the week or two weeks or a month that you're visiting your home country again. So we're trying to make things affordable for you here in Thailand. So you may want to take a look at some of the health insurance plans that are available here in Thailand for you. You will find out, depending on what country you're coming from, that they're going to be a lot cheaper here and they will cover you for things that happen here in Thailand. Now, since we're talking about health insurance, let's go right into hospitals. So one thing you will rely on here in Thailand is a good hospital for all of your needs. And there are some good hospitals that cater to foreigners. Now, look, most of the hospitals here are good. You don't necessarily need to go to one that caters to foreigners, but if you're going for the first time and you want to feel a lot more comfortable because a lot of them speak English, wherever you go in Thailand, find out which one of the hospitals is most expat friendly. Let's say you're in Bangkok, could be Bangkok Hospital. I'm in Chiang Mai, could be Chiang Mai Ram, could be Bangkok Hospital here in Chiang Mai. So those are the ones that are very expat friendly. You could walk in the front door and use English the whole way through. You'll have no problem. However, you will end up spending a lot more at those private institutions than you will if you just go to a regular public Thai hospital. And quick tip for you, a lot of the doctors that are in the public hospitals are the same doctors that are in some of the private ones. So just keep that in mind. Another thing you're going to rely on here in Thailand is the Thai bank account. So there are many different banks here in Thailand. I have only used one. Everyone I know that's an expat and we get to talking about banking, bank with the same bank that I do. So I'm going to give you that one since they seem to be somewhat expat friendly. Are they perfect? No, but 
It is the only one that I can recommend to you. If anyone knows of any other bank that they like better than this one, make sure to put it down in the description. I'm all ears. Anyway, the bank we use is Bangkok Bank. There's many different reasons why you would want a bank account here in Thailand. For one, you transfer your money from your country here. You can put it in your Thai bank account and it's great for services like scanning with your phone to pay for things here in Thailand. They take it right out of your Thai bank account. You got a Thai debit card. There's Thai ATM machines everywhere. So it's just very convenient to have and you're going to rely on the Thai banking system. And since we're talking about money, let's talk about transferring money. You're going to rely on a service that will transfer your money from your home country affordably to Thailand. Something my wife and I had to figure out. We're like, how are we going to get our money over here? Anyway, we're from the US and we chose a place called Wise. Three and a half years ago, they were called TransferWise, but now they're just called Wise. It works, has some hiccups every now and then. And the, we did look to see what was the most affordable way to transfer our money. And that was to connect our bank account to it versus using a credit card to transfer the money. That got a little expensive. But depending on what your country you're from, you really need to research this and figure out which money transfer service that you're going to rely upon because it's, it's going to be your lifeline between your home country finances and your Thailand finances. Now real quick, if you are planning on moving here to Thailand, we do have a step-by-step -step guide on how to move here to Thailand, which covers all the things we're covering in great detail with links, including how to get your pets here, what to sell, what to bring, everything from how to start a a checking account or a banking account here in Thailand, how to get your driver's license, what to do in your first 24 hours, and so on. So make sure you go to the buy me a coffee link. You will find that down in the description. Another thing that you will rely heavily on, if you're smart, I'm going to tell you why, because it doesn't cost you anything. And that is using a real estate agent to find your housing. So the way it works here in Thailand is that you hire a real estate agent. You're not paying them anything. They get their money from the landlord. The landlord is paying them a fee for finding them someone to rent their property. So you could find a ton of information from a realtor around here. They could show you the different areas. Just tell them, you know, I like to live out in the middle of nowhere or I want to live in the city. I want a condo. I got a budget of whatever. And it's their job to find you the properties that you want in the areas that you want. And again, it's a free service for you. And you can ask them all kinds, say you found the place you want to live. You can ask them all kinds of information such as, you know, what are good restaurants in this area? How's the school in this area? Is there a language school? Let's say that's something you're interested in. Whatever it may be, they can give you a lot of helpful information because they're local and you're not, and they can help you immensely all free. Next one on our list is expat friendly supermarkets. Yes, you're going to get here. You're going to love Thai food. After a while, you're going to want to make some dishes that you make from your home country, or you're just going to want some products, spices, whatever it may be, fill in the blank, something that's imported here. So you're going to go to expat friendly grocery stores, which for just to give you some examples, Tops, that's one of them, Rimping, Big C Extra, a lot of these bigger grocery stores have brands that may be familiar to you from your home country. A lot of expats rely on those businesses to make some of the dishes they're known for. Because after you've been here a while, you want to make your best lasagna that you used to make or your chili or your barbecue uh, recipe that you have from back home, wherever, whatever it may be. So you can find those ingredients at some of these, I'm going to say foreigner friendly, expat friendly grocery stores. Now the next one on the list is one that my wife and I use quite often to get food bought out is very cheap here in Thailand. So it's something that a lot of foreigners, expats like to do here in Thailand versus cooking for themselves. There are apps that you could use on your phone to have it delivered straight to your house kind of like it is in other countries, only it is extremely cheap here. And we enjoy using the service. So we use things like Grab and Food Panda, and those are a lifeline for expats here and everyone else, to be quite honest. And you can get the food you want delivered to your door 
for like a dollar. It's ridiculous. So we use that service a lot. It works well. And don't forget to tip your driver. Another one that's a lifeline for expats is a translation application on your phone. So since it's free, I'm gonna mention the uh, Google Translation app. Make sure you have that on your phone ready to go. Does it work 100%? No, I'm gonna give you a little trick on how to use it. So let's say you wanna say, where's the bathroom? And you say, put in there, where's the bathroom? And you're going from English to Thai hit the button to flip it and put it from Thai to English and see what it says. A lot of times it's not what you intended whatsoever. After a while, you will learn how to put it in English to where it translates it correctly. So for in, the, in this instance, where is the bathroom? Flip it and now it's in Thai going into English. And if it says, where is the bathroom? You know, you got a winner and there's no miscommunication. And of course I'm going to put on the list one expat delight that we rely on around here is restaurants that serve Western food. Now, good Thai foods, a dime a dozen around here, you can find good Thai food everywhere. I don't even bother showing you guys good Thai restaurants. There's just too many of them. What I do show you, however, is good Western restaurants. Because when you're in the mood for a good Western food or wherever you're from, you want some recommendations because that is hit or miss here. Remember, we're in Thailand, so if you're wanting good Greek food, you, you wouldn't want somebody necessarily, it may be good, but a Thai person cooking Greek food that's never been to Greece, and or maybe you found there is a restaurant of a Thai person cooking it that used to live in Greece, and their food's amazing. That's hit or miss. Not all of the Western restaurants are good, is what I'm trying to tell you. So when you find good ones, You'll keep those in your memory and those are places that you'll go to over and over again. Talk to other expats when you move here and ask them what are some of their favorite restaurants. Another lifeline here is the social media apps for expats, specifically Facebook. If you do go into groups and you look up, let's say I'm in Chiang Mai, so let's say Chiang Mai expats, you will find groups, Bangkok expats, Hua Hin expats, Name, name the place, you will find a group of people or expats in Thailand. You can find that one too. So I would suggest you get into that and ask some of your questions in there. And before you ask your question, you can search and see if the question's been asked before. I can almost assure you whatever question you have has probably been asked before and you could just read what the responses were and get your information real quick, but that's like a big lifeline for a lot of expats here in Thailand. So next, I want to give a shout out to a lot of you who have donated to this channel. I really appreciate it. And I would like to thank you. I'm going to go over your names. So on Buy Me A Coffee, we have John and Cian, Terry M, Robert B, Bill P, Bill H. This is an email, CS Pano. Johan P, Raymond L, Doug S, Robert S, and Tommy P. And on Super Thanks, shout out to Rob LA and Aspen Ward. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Narrowgate family. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. There's a link down in the description and we'll shout your name out the next time we go over shout outs. So thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna end this by saying thank you in Thai, which is Kapkun Kap.